miner was leaving his home for his work when he heard his little child scream. He ran to his bedside, his little white face said, Daddy, I've had such a dream. I dreamt that I saw that the pit was on fire and men struggled hard for their lives. And then the scene changed and the mouth of the mine was surrounded by sweethearts and wives. Don't go down the mine, Dad. Dreams very often come true. Daddy, you know it would break my heart if anything happened to you. Just go and tell my dream to your mates. As sure as the stars that shine, they call it and go back something to is going to end, and then refuse it off you. I'll push up my mug if you fill up my jug with that good old Mountain Dew. My Auntie June has a brand new perfume. It has such a sweet smell in the you. Imagine her surprise when she had it analyzed. It was nothing but that good old Mountain Dew. It's intimate theater. It's um, something that people can you know, bring uh, of themselves to. Uh, in this production, I think one of the things that makes it work is you can you can take Shakespeare and you can put it in any setting, but you have to bring the play, your idea, your concept to Shakespeare, not vice versa. Don't bring Shakespeare to the play. It stays right in place when he is just a trace of that good old mountain dew. Susan Lambert actually came up with a really brilliant idea because I had had this idea but how to do it without having to literally be in the Appalachian Mountains. And she said, well, why don't we do it? It's a group that's presenting it to the Appalachian people and set the audience in the Appalachian Mountains. Couldn't get no more, didn't have no sugar for the dew. No, sir. But a few old potatoes and a few ripe tomatoes. We turned out some stuff, I'm telling you. It really gives us sort of the the liberty to, to break out to music and to, to sort of break the fourth wall and still tell and trust Shakespeare's story. What country friend is this? This is Illyria, lady. And what should I do with Illyria? It had this image of this isolated Appalachian town as a, as a setting. The chance he's not dead. Mainly because the closest thing that we have to Elizabethan dialect is the Appalachian Mountains. You listen to our show, you, you'll find sometimes how easily it sort of sounds to the ear and how easily, easily it sort of flows off the tongue. Write loyal cantons of contented love and sing them loud even in the dead of night. Hello your name to the reverbian hills and make the babbling gossip of the air cry out, oh thy Omnia. The lady bade take away the fool, therefore I say again, take her away. Sir, I bade them take away you. Well, Miss Prison, in the highest degree, lady. Good Madonna, give me leave to prove you a fool. Can you do it? Dexterously, Madonna. <laughs> oh, sir, sir, uh, a cost is front her, board her, woo her. Sail her. <laughs> By my troth, I would not undertake her in this company. Is that the meaning of the cost? Very well, gentlemen. And now let part so what's thou might never draw a sword again. Yeah, now, so, mistress, I would I might never, never draw, draw a sword, sword again. again. Fair lady, do you think we have fools in hand? Sir, I have not you by the hand. <laughs> Mary, but you shall have, and here's my hand. Now, sir, bond's free. I pray you, bring your hand to the buttery bar and let it drink. <laughs> oh, sir! Cesario! <laughs> yeah, the interesting thing about this play is, of all Shakespeare's plays, this probably has the most music. Music was their entertainment and their escape, and that's what they're... That was very present. Yeah, it was like a folk art. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And, uh, so, 
it, it's appropriate, you know, I think. I think so. For uh, Hold Thy Peace, which was a catch, the, 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 a drunken catch in the middle of the night, we, we switched to Old Plank Road, which is this great, uh, won't get drunk no more, way down the Old Plank Road. The consequences of drinking and then they're pledging they're not going to drink and they add this little coda uh well i won't get drunk way down the old plank road and it's just fit perfectly into the to the moment took one of the songs, Come Away Death, and turned it into a, a blues song. Really, really powerful. Not a flower sweet On my black coffin that is strong Not a friend Not a friend free But we also didn't want it to be a musical. There, there, there really isn't any moment when an actor stops and you, we hear their inner monologue through music. Is love, is not here at unless Shakespeare wrote it. And that only really occurs when, when Festy sings. What's to come is still unsure. What's to come is still unsure. Indeed, they these characters are so human yeah, the circle, it is broken. but then they get to say this this, this wonderful language one day. trusting that language Shakespeare gives you everything that you need to take you on this this wonderful journey the circle, the umbrella. 